We have a, at a rocket launch, fuel is consumed at the rate of 100 kilograms per second, with an exhaust speed of 3,000 meters per second. So the rocket is here, and fuel is coming out at the rate of 100 kilograms per second, and there's an exhaust speed of 3,000 meters per second. The initial mass of the rocket is 1,500 kilograms. What is the thrust produced by the engine? Okay, the thrust, that, that expression, remember that the, the, when we derived the rocket propulsion equation, it was that the mass of the rocket times the acceleration of the rocket, dv over dt, it was equal to minus the exhaust speed of the gas times dm over dt. This is the equation that we obtained. Now, this force acting on the rocket, notice this is just ma, it's a force acting on the rocket, and it's a force that results from what? From the gas, because the gas is being pushed out, and that propels the rocket forward. So that force is given by this. That force is called the thrust. The thrust, because it's, this is like it's, the gas is thrusting the rocket forward. So it's just called the thrust. And we define the thrust then as simply the magnitude of this force. So we just define it as, as the magnitude of mdv over dt, the magnitude of this force which is just the magnitude of V e dm over dt. That is the absolute value of V e dm dt. This is a thrust. So in this case, V is 3,000 meters per second. And dm over dt is See, dm, or, dm dt, in fact, is negative because the mass of the rocket is decreasing. So dm over dt is negative. Okay, but, but there's a, a minus sign here. So you end up with, and v, of course, is defined as positive. So you end up with positive. But just for the sake of simplicity, just put the absolute value. So at 3,000, and dm over dt, just take it as 100, it's 100 kilograms per second. So meter per second, kilograms per second. That would be kilogram meter per second squared, which is Newton. So this is 3 times 10 to the 5 Newtons. This is a thrust on the rocket. This is a thrust produced by the engine. What is the rocket's acceleration as it is lifted off the launching pad? To find the acceleration, I need to find the net force. F equals ma. What is the net force? There's a thrust, which is pushing it up, because gas comes out and pushes the it's coming down, the gas, and it pushes, this is the launching, remember. It pushes the rocket up. So there's an upward force on the rocket, given by the thrust, which is this. But there's also the weight of the rocket down, the mg. So the net force, F net, on the rocket, it's up because the thrust is bigger than mg. It's a thrust minus mg. The thrust is 3 times 10 to the 5 newtons. And mg, m is 1,500 kilograms. And g is 9.8, let's say 10. So that's minus 15,000. 1,500 times 10 is 15,000 newtons. 
or 15,000 meters. That is 0 0.5, 0 0.15 times 10 to the 5. This is the net force, and this is 2.85 times 10 to the 5 newtons. So what is the acceleration? F net over M. So it's 2.85 times 10 to the 5 over 1,500. So this is... Um, 19, 285, 19, so that's 190, 190 meters per second. This is the acceleration of the rocket as it's being just lifted off the launching pad. This is, okay, yeah. 2.85, so take a thousand from this, it becomes 2,850, and the two zeros cancel, so it's 190, exactly. All right. So that's the way it is with the 